Hey guys, it's me, Mia, and you are watching Sincerely Nymphy. Okay, so today we are going to be doing like a basic cutesy anime girl like makeup tutorial. I haven't uploaded in like such a long time and that's just because with my very, very extremely stressful job, it's hard to even find the energy, let alone the time to make videos like this. But recently, I did quitty, quit, quit, quit. So there's that. Um, with that being said, um, here's the tutorial. This tutorial is for a photo shoot that I'm doing um, where I'm just like, you know, like a, a cutesy, like academic, like a cutesy academic. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's get straight to the tutorial. All right, so first things first, we're gonna moisturize. Um, this is definitely optional if you already have oily skin, but if you have dry skin like me, this is definitely a must. Skincare is definitely a big part of your makeup routine. It's, it, it, it's, like, the, it's like the main foundation in how your makeup looks on your skin. Your makeup looks so much better on your skin when you have good skincare, and you don't even have to have good skin. Um, so, you know, when you're doing your pre-workout, your, your preppity prep, 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 moisturizer, big thing. Um, now I'm not saying you should use two moisturizers. I just like to use two moisturizers because I have a Sahara Desert ass face and I'm really paranoid about that kind of stuff. So my two go-tos are oil-free moisture with 15 SPF. Um, I like to use as low SPF as possible because I like melanin. I like my melanin. I don't wanna have a moon face and then the rest of my body be like tan or something. And then um, this is 100% 100 uh, virgin coconut oil daily hydration hyaluronic acid serum um, by Shea Moisture. It's got coconut milk and acacia um from senegal it softens and restores skin i'm not sponsored i fuck wish but <laughs> let's hope that one day i do maybe maybe i will if i don't cuss so damn much. <laughs> okay the first thing i put on is the spf mm. okay so the thing is i'm avoiding my lips i don't know if you put moisturizer on your lips but I'm avoiding my lips because I put like lip gloss on it and I don't want the lip gloss to like rub off on my um, <laughs> on my hands and then I got lip gloss on my body because I feel like lip gloss just seems a little sus to get on the rest of your skin that isn't your mouth, uh, mouth skin. Like I feel like lip gloss is like pimple magnet. I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right. Wait for the other one to dry first before you put on the other one. I mean, if you are gonna do this, this is definitely optional. You can use one moisturizer. This is just me doing my weird thing because I'm paranoid. You're supposed to like do it upwards. Someone told me that. Um, I don't know what that's all about. Doesn't make sense. Someone said that it like promotes your um, youthful features like you're supposed to do your neck and like everything upwards right so that your face can point up i don't know if that's true or not because like that logic when it comes to boobs like if you wear like underwire bras or like bras that like push up your thought that's like what i'm doing right now every single day it makes them sag more so i'm not sure how that logic is reversed for the face so do not quote me on the upward i don't know if that works all right now it's time for eye makeup so my go-to are Sugar Pill C1 and C2 palette. Um, they sent me this in the mail like, oh, it had to have been like almost a year ago or something like that. And like, I don't use these that much because I treasure them that much. Like I'm just, a, I'm obsessed with these like, so I only use them on the specialist of occasions, which are my photo shoots, so there's that. Anyways, so let's get on with the tutorial. First thing I like to do is brows. Now, the first thing I use for brows is styling gel. This is for hair, but you can use it for your eyebrows. Unless you're allergic, then I don't know, get one that's like hypoallergenic or something. Uh, 
Yeah. One of my friends uses honey for gel. I don't know about. I don't know about that though. Huh. I don't really see her too often, so I don't really know how it looks. But she told me like, oh, that's a cool natural way to use. I don't know. You guys think honey's? I don't know. Has anyone ever tried that? Anyways, now that we have it globbed on, we're just gonna like brush it into place and just figure out the shape that you want your eyebrows to go. A lot of people use glue, I think, for this method, but I'm not really sure. I've been using this gel lately um, just because it's easier to style my brows. And you know what? It makes me pluck them less, you know? A lot of people want to pluck their eyebrows in the shape that they want, but if you gel it, you won't really have to pluck as much eyebrows. And I'm trying to grow out my eyebrows. I've been, I used to over pluck, and I thought that I was never going to grow my eyebrows back. Then I started doing the gel method, and it's been really working out for me. And also, your eyebrows just stay in place. They do not move. They do not move. They're definitely sisters, not twins. Whoever said that? I forgot who said that. Somebody said it. <laughs> All right. Well, the gel, as I was like brushing it in, it did dry a little bit. So that gives us a lot of leverage to um, draw on the rest of the tail. My tails are very short, um, but I like to keep them a little bit longer because it elongates my face and makes it go outwards. So let's do that. Um, I, li I also like to keep my brows, I like to keep them fairly thin because the thicker you make it, um, the smaller your eyes look, and that's just not the look we're going for. We're going for anime girl right now, like a brat stall or like an anime girl or something with big eyes. And honestly, unless your eyes are already big, thick eyebrows are not gonna help you attain, obtain that big eye look. They just shrink the eyes and bring attention away from the eyes. So, yeah. Oop. Ooh. I mean, it's okay if the tails are looking rough because we usually just start carving them with the um, concealer. And I've been actually using foundation instead of concealer. Well, I actually have a two-in-one concealer foundation that I like to carve my brows with, which we are going to be using right now. Um, and the reason why I like to use that instead of the concealer is because... I don't know, it like um, brings forward my eyebrows and I don't want a prominent brow bone because I'm not going for the caveman look, you know? So I like, I, I like my eyebrows to like be on the same level as my forehead. Uh, you know what, it's probably not a good idea to use a camera as a mirror, but I'm using a camera as a mirror. And if you don't have a mirror, then I guess use a camera as a mirror, but I don't recommend it. If you have a mirror and you have a camera, choose the mirror. Don't choose the camera. I'm just lazy. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna do the front of my eye a little bit. Okay, all right. Come on, man. Time to carve them brows. No more procrastinating. All right, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. I should zoom in. Okay, so I already started on this brow. Um, Ignore this pimple. Actually, I'm going to erase it. Okay, bye pimple. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of forgot to shave this whole area. Yeah, I shave my brows now. I don't pluck them. It's actually better for your eyebrows. Then you don't, you know, cause irreversible damage to your hair follicles. All right, this is looking good. Okay. Now for the top part. Do, 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 do. If anybody wants to know the foundation I'm using, it is the Milani Concealer Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. So it's fairly high coverage, but not too much to where it, you know, makes my makes me feel gross. If that makes any sense. Have you ever like put on like cakey? That's the feeling. Cakey. I hate it, you know? And a lot of people can do cakey makeup. I can't. It makes me feel like I have dirt on my face. And that could just be my sensory issues. I'm not I'm not really sure. 
zoom out. Wow. Actually, you know what? I think I want to um, get underneath a little bit more because I want it to go upwards. I want it to be snatched. I want it to be snatched. Boop, 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 boop. It really does make all the difference. Oh, see? Wow. <laughs> all right, look at the difference. Look at the difference between these brows. You got this one and this one. Wow. Um, I didn't even blend it in yet. I didn't even blend this little little nasty part in. <laughs> That's the foundation I use. Oh my gosh. I started to paint like that too. I started putting the acrylics on my um, hand when I paint pictures which is really cool if you're not using that much paint and you're doing really small pictures, but if you're doing really big old pictures, you probably end up using your whole arm, which in that case, a, a palette is probably best. But when you're doing it in tiny pictures, it's actually really helpful. I love having hands. <laughs> All right, well, I blended that. I'm not sure if this is the best way to blend stuff in. There's probably like a makeup artist that would like react to this being like, mm, she's not supposed to use her hands blended in, but like, I like it because it warms up the product and it like it just makes it melt into your skin a lot better but I'm not, I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that I mean obviously sanitize your hands before doing it but yeah ooh, 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 ooh. so cute all right um, I'm gonna do the next um, brow and then we can move on to the eyeshadow all right so we got our brows together now it is time for the eye look Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is obviously white eyeliner on the waterline. Um, that's, you know, the go-to thing for a big eye look. So let's do that. Okay, so I just get it all in. If you got a pull on the waterline, that's fine too. And you don't have to get the inside. Just the outside is fine. Boop, doop, boop. All right, so now that we've gotten the whole white eyeliner thing happening on our waterline, so how like the whites are underneath your eyes. So that's great, we love that. Um, but next I wanna do, um, now I use this brown eyeliner and now I'm going to use it for underneath that whole section. So let's get right into that. What does that do exactly? Well, it emphasizes and brightens the white eyeliner that you have put in, put in, <laughs> have already put on your waterline to make it look even more white and to emphasize that like droopy doll eye look. So, let's go ahead and do that. Wow, lovely. See, look, do you see the difference? It, it not only like emphasized the whiteness of the eyes, but it pulled my eyes out and made them look even bigger. Like, holy crap, my eyes look big like an anime person. If you want to, you could also like blend it into like a whole cat eye thing. That's pretty fun. All right, so my eyes are big. I look like Babette from Raggedy Ann. Like, that's how big my eyes look, which is what I'm going for. We we love a good Babette eye look, okay? Now, we are going to emphasize that eye shape with a little bit of Shape Tape Concealer, and then we're gonna use the old C1C2 Sugar Pill Palette. Now, a lot of people like to emphasize um, this whole area with their nose whenever they contour it. I'm not sure what this whole inner eye shadow is called, but I like to erase it. I really do because here's the thing. When people cosplay anime characters and stuff like that, I feel like they emphasize this whole thing when in reality, anime characters have like these, like, I don't know how to, put it but their faces have really little to no depth or detail if you look at a lot of anime art you'll notice that there's a lot of detail in the body there's shadows and contours and like like it's almost like Michelangelo himself drew the body 
and then someone else drew the face because the face is a totally different art style. There's no depth. Everything is like, it's like a 2D face with a 3D body. But that's how anime girls are. Um, so yeah, that's what we're trying to emulate right now. Um, it's definitely very unrealistic. <laughs> but no one realistically has giant anime eyes and that's, we're going for a very unrealistic look here. Um, and here I go again, blending in my concealer with my finger. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's that. Okay, so this, like, as you can see, like, all the depth is gone. If I add powder to it, if I add, um, you know, a light powder to it, it's going to remove even more shadows and more depth if it's matte. And so you want certain areas of your face to be matte, especially when you're doing a photo shoot. Um, and yeah, it just, I mean, that just definitely adds to the whole anime and doll-like look, is like the lack of depth and detail in the face <laughs> and the lack of shadows. You want to like remove as many shadows as possible. I'm not sure why they look like that, but apparently it's like really aesthetic. Um, and then if you have any leftover excess on your finger, feel free to pat that stuff on your forehead. This is ghetto. I'm not a makeup artist. So don't look at me like I am. I'm just teaching you how I look this way. All right, now, like I said before, we are gonna go in with a powder just to remove a little bit more depth and create that face shape of, um, how do I describe it? I've been describing it as a lack of depth and like a flat, like surface, like a 2D surface. But I think it's more comparable to like, okay, so like your whole brow bone area is just flatter and blends more into your forehead versus where, where like a lot of people like to emphasize the nose bridge. The nose bridge is just going to blend right into the forehead. Because if you see any anime, whether it's 3D anime or 2D anime, you'll notice that there's not really a huge emphasis on the brow bone. And so that's what we're trying to take away when we're doing that whole anime look type thing. There is a makeup artist on Instagram and I think I follow them on TikTok too. And they just like, and I don't remember the name just cause I'm really bad with names. I think everyone can relate, okay? But their face is just like so naturally like that. They don't even need to do makeup, but makeup just like helps them. And they just, I don't know what it is, but they just naturally look like a doll. It's so insane, like, but yeah, I will, um, Whatever their username is, I'll find it somewhere and I'll put it here. But yeah, she like, and I love her makeup looks like, I'm obsessed with her. But yeah, like she just naturally has that like adorable like doll face. She probably, she, you see her without makeup already and she already looks like a cute little doll. And I'm like, hey, um, I want whatever she's getting. Whatever, whatever her secret is, I need that. <laughs> okay, so I finished my whole eye look outside of the mascara and the eyeshadow. But my camera decided to be a total asshole and just not record any of it. So I'm going to erase this whole eye. Um, or maybe I'll do this eye. Hmm. No, I'll do this eye. And I'll just do it from scratch because I guess. You know, like a lot of things have been getting in my way lately. Like. Every time I try to like start a whole new endeavor, it seems that something is getting in my way. But I think my one way to like tell life you is to just like start over again. So that's what I'm doing. I'm spitefully starting over again. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> um, now this looks a lot like from what I left off with. So I'm just gonna do it over again. We're going to do take the shade side eye from the C2 palette. Go over it like this. Oh my god, I have never done my makeup this fast before. So for like, for like, 
And then we're gonna take the same shade and do the over eye with it instead of the under eye. And we're just gonna do the outer corner and we're just going to pack it, pack it, pack it like a ketchup packet. All right, great, okay. So now what we're gonna do is take a um, sort of blending brush, go over it with the shade Karma, and we are not gonna pick up too much of the product, just a little bit of it, and lightly blend it into our natural skin tone. We want this to look as naturally unnatural as possible. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna go over it a little bit more with side eye, just because Okay, yeah, we're good. Now, I'm going to use the shade, what is it called? I think it's called Double Shot, Double Shot of Espresso. And we're just gonna go for the under eye and just do the outer, just do the outer, okay? And this is with the kind of thin packing brush, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's for like really fine, lines okay great now we're gonna do the same thing with our bigger brush that's a little bit more broader and just lightly pack it not too much Ooh -wee. Oh, I think I did a better job the second time hmm I might just do that with this eye because I put a little bit more, but I think a little bit more looks a lot better. So let's do that. Wow. Oh yeah, that made my eye look so much bigger. <gasps> See, everything happens for a reason, y'all. <laughs> okay, so the same exact problem happened again with my eyeliner. So I'm going to have to erase one of my eyes and do it all over again. I just got to get over it. All right, time to start over again. <laughs> okay, so I've already kind of outlined my upper eyelid on the middle part. I don't like to put my eyeliner on the inner eyelid because it just pulls my eyes closer together, which is not what I'm going for. I'm going for eyes far, far apart anime girl look. So let's just trace it down to the bottom and then pull out a wing, trace it, back and then fill it in if that makes any sense okay now we're gonna do a second wing and so as you can see i've lined to the bottom of my eye with um the double shot shade in the c2 palette so we're gonna use that as a guide so let's draw our second wing and boop second wing done and then just trace it along the bottom of the eye and only do the outside of it. Don't go all the way to the inside, unless you want that kind of look, but that's not what I'm going for. Could have sharpened that wing a little bit. And then go inward. All right, <laughs> over. What we're gonna do is mascara. And as you can see, I already did mascara on the other eye because um, I would have done it with you guys, but the camera's being a butthole. So, just gonna have to do it all over again. Um, the eyeliner that I'm using is Maybelline New York Stiletto Lash. It is a waterproof mascara and it makes your lashes look like little stiletto pointies. I think that's the whole point. I think that's why they call it stiletto lash. Only use it on your upper lashes. I'll tell you what we're gonna do with our lower lashes here in a bit. Um, I'm just kind of emphasizing the ends. But when you're doing it for the first time on your bare lash, you can use lash primer, I don't. Um, just do it in little circles at the base and then move your way up to the top. <laughs> so, um, because my camera is malfunctioning, you guys don't get to see me put on my false lashes, but I did put on some false lashes. What I did was I cut, um, I cut some pieces. I cut, like, I cut some pieces and I put some on the ends and in the middle. And so that kind of, like, emphasizes my lashes while giving it, like, a natural look. But now... 
Okay, so now we're going to do the foundation and stuff. So what I like to do for the foundation is mix my foundation with my SPF moisturizer. Um, let's do that right now. Okay, and just, ooh, I think I added too much moisturizer. You definitely want a um, skewed foundation to moisturizer ratio. Um, the most half being foundation. So we got it all spread out and we're just gonna lightly dab with our foundation brush and evenly distribute it um, on our face. Now, if you want more high coverage, I would definitely do either a second layer or just don't even add the moisturizer at all, especially if your skin's already oily. Um, but yeah. I kind of like the moisturizer because it gives my skin an extremely dewy look that I just, I'm obsessed with. I love it. Um, and we're going to use those highlights to, as a guide to where we are going to put our highlighter. Okay, so that's kind of put on there. I also like low coverage foundation because... It's just not too cakey and it's not too much for my skin. I already explained my whole thing with the feeling of like a lot of foundation on my face. It really bothers me, but yeah. All right, so, eh, open. Okay, so I got my highlighter. This is Makeup Obsession Highlighter Illuminator. Oh, this was a gift actually. Okay, so where exactly I want to highlight is not up here. Um, I actually am going to highlight the apples of my cheeks and right where my nasal labial fold is. Um, and what that does is it takes away that like sort of creasing and it adds to the lack of depth that we're going for. So like very cartoony. Okay, so now we're gonna do, 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 do the other side. I'm not putting like, there's not that much on my brush, which is why I'm pressing on it so hard. But if you have a lot on, on your brush, I would press, I would tread lightly. I would press and tread lightly. I forgot to put some up here too, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, cool, cool. And then just put some on my forehead, kind of like in a halo ring shape. Do not be generous with your highlighter. Also, just, just don't, just don't. It's not the thing to put a lot of. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on the under eye. All right, cool. Now I'm just gonna put on some translucent powder and blush. So I'm just gonna put on some translucent powder. Um, actually, this isn't translucent powder. Why do I keep saying translucent powder? This is a Maybelline Superstay powdered foundation. And uh, yeah, and this just locks in the foundation. It just locks everything in. And yeah, I haven't contoured my nose yet. I like to do that last. Um, I don't know why. I think it's because a part of the contouring is the blushing. So I like to do it after the blushing, but yeah. And then any cream blush is fine. Um, I like to use cream blush just because it's more pigmented and it actually goes on your skin. You don't have to like put on too much and it looks like you have rosacea or something like that. Um, and I started putting my blush down here. Do, 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 do. Actually, I think I've always done that. But I also like to put it in the middle of my face too. Ooh, look, I put too much here. Uh-oh, it's fine. Because what I like to do when I put on too much blush is take my foundation brush and buff it out. And look, it's gone. <laughs> now we're going to put on the, the blush for this area. Oh my god, I forgot to put on my under eye concealer. Let's do that. Let's do that now before we do anything. Okay, so going to be using shape tape and not that much. I can't believe I forgot to do that. I mean, it's not like I need it, but... I can't believe it. I can't believe I forgot. Anyways, you know the deal. Blend it with the fingers. Just 
gonna blend that in. Um, if anyone knows, like, wants to know my technique for applying, um, what's it? Concealer. Look up Snitchery's tutorial. She usually does it on the outer part, but a majority of my pigmentation when it comes to um, dark circles comes from the inside, which draws my eyes together, and makes them look more close together. So erasing that is, I like to do the inside. She likes to do the outside, but yeah. And voila, now we're gonna finish it with some powder and then work on the blush. Okay, so I'm gonna put powder underneath my under eyes. Don't put too much, cause it's gonna look kinda like gross and cakey and it might like emphasize any wrinkles that you might have. So just take like a tiny blender and just stamp it like one stamp. That'll, that'll, that'll do you good. Oh yeah, see you don't even need any more than that. that that's all the powder you'll need for under eyes. Do not put any more because it's just like, like I said before, it's gonna look, it's gonna be bad, like, ooh, like, it just, it just won't look good. Just trust me, it will not look good. Okay, so I just like to put it, not really at the top, I like to put it in the middle of the nose bridge and on the tip of the nose. Ooh, look at that! Ooh, I did must up, but what we're gonna do for this, we're gonna do for this, so don't worry too much. And then kind of just like make it look like sunburn because that makes it look a little bit more natural and it helps in the nose contouring process right now I look like I have the absolute worst sunburn ever Ooh. <laughs> and then we're also gonna lightly blush this part of the face too don't put too much just make it light and the reason why I want to do that is so that the color in my skin is more consistent and it makes the blush here look more natural, if that makes any sense. And now we're going to buff it out with the foundation brush. Wow, see, look. Cute. Now we're going to do the nose contour. Okay, so remember when I was using this brush to do my eye makeup? Well, we're going to use the leftover pigment from that. Um, a little bit unorthodox, but it's like whatever. And I just like to emphasize the shadow right here and do a little bit of this on the sides. You know the drill, like that whole button thing. But you know what else I've been doing lately is like kind of just shading the bridge of the nose too. A lot of people, what they like to do is contour the sides of the nose, which I like to do if I want to make my bridge look wider. But I kind of just want to go for like a little like sun-kissed nose, if that makes any sense. All right, cool, cool. Just add a little bit more. It's hard to describe what I'm doing right now, but I've seen so many other girls do it, and I think you know what I'm talking about. Then, we are going to take the highlighter, put it right here, and then put a little bit on the bridge of the nose. So at the height of the bridge of the nose, and then just blend it all out. Okay, so now we're gonna do the lips. So I'm gonna get this lip gloss off my lips. Now my lips are matte. And I'm going to just, I don't know, kind of show off the lipsticks that Sugar Pill sent me. So let's look at those right now. All right, so Sugar Pill sent me some of these lipsticks. Um, let's see, which one would look really cute? We have Love Bug, that's really like a nice dark color. We have Ring Pop. Oh my God, I actually, I'm loving Ring Pop. I might, I think I'm gonna use Ring Pop. I think I'm gonna use Ring Pop, but let's see, we got Some Bunny and Friend Zone. Um, maybe we should swatch them and see, but I think I'm gonna go with Ring Pop. Let's swatch them, let's swatch them. Okay, so I have all of these swatched right now for you guys. Now, Love Bug, I actually love this one. I might use this, this is like cute for like, 
a Betty Boop or like pinup look. I just love like the dark red lip look. It's just not what I'm going for right now because like mine's more of like a cute pinky like natural looking look. I might use this for my nurse makeup look though. But um, the second one, which is like definitely what I'm gonna go for, is the Ring Pop one. I freaking love it so much. Like, I just love this like light pinky look. It's just so adorable. And it matches my blush really well. And then the rest actually turned out to be glosses. So we have at the top, we have Friend Zone right here. I love Friend Zone, but like this one, which is, what is it, Some Bunny? I don't know, just something about it, just something about it just looks really cute. So I think what I'm gonna do is use a light layer of um, Ring Pop and then go over it with Friend Zoned or some bunny. I think I'm gonna go with Friend Zoned. All right, here we go. Like I said, light layer. Don't want it to be like too pigmented, but. Oh my god, this smells so good. No wonder they call it sugar pill. Holy crap, I kind of want to eat this. <laughs> it smells so good. Like, if you like candy, you will be very tempted to eat these because these are like, it's like right next to my nose. Oh my god, it smells so good. Okay, just gonna blend that in. Okay. Oh my god, it looks so good. It looks so good. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna finish it with, um, I think it's friend zone. <laughs> sorry, I'm such a nerd. Okay, yep, it's definitely friend zone. Let's do this thing. Oh. Uh, I need to be a lipstick model, cause I just like my lips. I freaking love my lips. Look at that! Oh my god! I look so cute! What the love is like? This is Ring Pop and Friend Zone. And me! Okay, okay. We are we are done with the look, but sorry, I'm just I'm obsessed with this lipstick. Thank you so much, Sugar Pill. They like they always come through with like the best makeup ever. Like I will never not use sugar pill. Like this is like amazing. All right, well, I'm just wiping the, all this makeup off my hand. Like every time I do makeup my hand because I use it as like my painty art palette thing, my painterly palette, this hand always gets dirty. So before I do any photo shoots or, or just literally do anything else, I have to wash this hand off. Um, Cause it will rub off on stuff. I mean, it's not like I'm putting finishing powder on my own hand. So it's gonna rub off, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, here's the look. I'm going to do my hair and all that kind of stuff, add some hair accessories, and I will be right back. Bye. <laughs> the campy drastic look and mixes it with a more natural looking look as well so it's natural yet like dramatic um, which I really like I like to use that in my photo shoots I like to use it in my day-to-day -day makeup so yeah I hope you guys like this um, I hope this was useful to you guys I hope you guys try this makeup look too and I hope it looks great on you as much as it looks great on me because I think it'll look great on everybody but <laughs> yeah um, if you guys want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button and if you like the video obviously like it but if you don't like the video definitely don't like it but if you did like it even though you didn't like it that's also great too. 
Um, and if you want notifications for every time I post a video, hit that bell. And yeah, my next look will be a nurse look, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be so awesome. I hope you guys have a great day. All right, see ya. Bye. <laughs>